Hello, I am Vanya Gröger, also known as Nechta. Today I will show you some coordination exercises for extreme metal drumming. In extreme metal you want to play fast, but speed without precision is worthless. So you want to play fast and tight. When you play for example some jazz or Latin grooves, the independence of your limbs is really important. But in extreme metal drumming it is quite the opposite. To play not only fast, but fast and precise. It is important to lock everything together as tight as possible. In this tutorial I will show you some coordination exercises that will help you to do exactly this, that will help you to play fast and precise. Enjoy! The following exercises can be done regardless of which technique you use as long as you play single strokes with hands and feet. Later I will show some exercises with double strokes on hands and feet, but the main exercises are for single stroke users. First of all, the very basic requirement for all following exercises is that you can play comfortably single strokes with each of your limbs separately. It doesn't matter how fast you are, but it is important that you can hold the speed and play consistently for several minutes. If you are a beginner and still feel uncomfortable doing this, you should practice this first before you move on to any other exercise. Towards the end of the video, I will demonstrate some typical metal beats, which these exercises will help to improve greatly. So let's start. In the beginning I talked about locking everything together as tight as possible. The first step in doing so is to lock your right hand with your left hand. So you have to practice alternating single strokes, right, left, right, left. I know this is very basic, but don't worry, there's much more to come. The next step is to do exactly the same thing with your feet. Just practice single strokes, right, left, right, left, until you feel comfortable. By the way, I am a right-handed drummer, so I usually lead with my right side. If you are left-handed, just do all exercises side inverted to get the same effect. As soon as you feel comfortable playing single strokes with your hands and your feet separately, the next important step is to lock your hands with your feet. The first exercise for this is very simple. Just play eighth notes with your right hand After having covered all the basics, it is now time to move on to something more difficult. In this exercise we will establish a crosslink between the right hand and the left foot. You start with your right hand and play right hand, left foot, right hand, left foot. This exercise is very tricky, so you will have to start very very slowly. Again, the snares are off, so you can hear much better if you play precise. The next exercise is the exact counterpart of the last exercise. This time you don't start on the snare, but you start on the bass drum with your right foot. And you play right foot, left hand, right foot, left hand. This is a very important exercise for everyone who likes single foot blasts. Again, start slowly and only increase the speed if you feel comfortable. If you are a lazy person like I am and you like to play the traditional blast beat not only with one foot but with both feet, I highly recommend to repeat exercises 3a and 4b with both feet like shown here. 
When you feel comfortable and secure in playing blast beat exercises 1 and 2, you can also learn to switch between those both exercises without leaving a gap. Make these exercises feel like your second nature and your blast beats will always sound really tight no matter if you hear yourself over the monitor or not. next exercise I play 16th notes with my feet and my hands simultaneously. It may look simple, but it is really challenging to place the snare drum hits exactly above the bass drum hits. When you consider exercises 1 to 4 as pieces of a puzzle, this exercise is to put the puzzle together. Listen very closely to yourself Challenge yourself and learn to switch between exercises 4a, 4b and 5 without a gap. This is the ultimate exercise to improve the tightness of your double bass drumming, your blast beats and the overall tightness and control at high speeds. Also, it is great for warm up. As a little variation of exercise 5, you can play the exercise only with one of your hands, for example with your right hand. However, it is much more challenging to take away your right hand and play the exercise only with your left hand. This way you have to lead with your right foot while the left hand and left foot are on the offbeat. It is very hard to stay on Now, we have done all kinds of exercises for blast beats and double bass drumming all based on straight 16th notes. But not everything consists of straight 16th notes. So here are some exercises for double bass triplets that are also very important in metal drumming. In the first exercise for this I play simple quarter notes with my right hand on the snare while playing 8th note triplets with my feet. The difficult aspect of this exercise is that my right hand hits alternately at the same time with my right foot or my left foot. As always I do the same exercises again with my left hand. When you feel comfortable playing triplets as well as straight 16th notes, the next important step is that you learn to change from triplets to straight 16th notes and back. So, just repeat exercise 6 and change on your double bass between triplets and straight 16th notes. In the following sequence I will demonstrate some standard metal beats and I will display for each of them which exercises are best for improving that.
if you haven't had enough yet, here are some more exercises, this time involving double strokes. I know that most metal drummers don't use double strokes. However, I like to use them for a lot of fill-ins and also for creative cymbal work on my hi-hat and right cymbal. Apart from that, practicing double strokes also helped me to gain more control over my single stroke rolls. If you want to know how I do my double strokes, just check out my double stroke tutorial. Many of these exercises are very tricky, so start slow. It is better to play slow and precise than to play fast and not precise. You can use these exercises as a very good warm-up and if you do them regularly, you will soon see great improvements in your metal drumming. Thanks for watching. Like and share this video if you find it helpful. If you want to see more, subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my Facebook page. You can also check out my Spreadshirt shop where you will find, for example, this t-shirt. See you next time.